Welcome to Astro World, where stargazing stories are told. It is believed that humans will soon embark on a journey to Mars, marking the beginning of a new era as a multi-planetary species. However, it remains uncertain what this means for life on Earth, particularly the life population. Will we be left behind as Elon Musk and his select group venture into outer space, or will Mars simply become another resource for us to exploit and capitalize on? Okay. All right. Now, another thing that you are, are talking about is you, you sincerely think that we should go to Mars, like that men and women should go to Mars. Yeah. Why do we want to go to Mars? It's uninhabitable. It, it is a fixer upper of a planet. Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, at first, you're going to have to live in transparent domes, but eventually. Yes, yeah, so can... we're going to be huffing each other's stank. Yeah, uh, but, but eventually, you can transform Mars into an Earth like planet. How would you do that? One thing is certain, life as we know it will never be the same. SpaceX has a vision for the future where human colonization on Mars becomes a reality. Elon Musk, the driving force behind this vision, has grand aspirations for Mars colonization. His illustrations of Mars Base Alpha depict a complex network of buildings and infrastructure, but SpaceX's initial plans for the Red Planet are more practical and focused. SpaceX plans to send two cargo starships to Mars before sending humans to establish the necessary infrastructure for future exploration. The uncrewed missions will transport life support systems, power generators, and other vital supplies to ensure the first astronauts on Mars have the resources needed to set up a sustainable camp. In addition to delivering supplies, the cargo missions will also confirm the existence of natural resources on Mars. SpaceX is particularly interested in finding water ice on the planet's surface and extracting carbon dioxide from its atmosphere. These resources will be used to produce fuel for future missions to and from Mars. By using water and carbon dioxide to create liquid methane and liquid oxygen, SpaceX plans to establish a propellant production plant on Mars. This will enable the rockets, called Starships, to refuel and make the journey back to Earth. SpaceX plans to kickstart the setup of a propellant production plant on Mars by launching two crewed missions along with two additional cargo-only flights. This process involves converting water and carbon dioxide into usable fuel, which is a pivotal step towards achieving long-term sustainability on the planet. Refueling starships will enable them to make a return trip to Earth, paving the way for more efficient and frequent travel between the two planets. However, one of the key challenges to establishing a permanent residence on Mars is the planet's thin and inhospitable atmosphere. Mars has a predominantly carbon dioxide atmosphere with very little oxygen and nitrogen compared to Earth, making it impossible for humans to breathe and for plants to survive without a substantial supply of air. Additionally, the atmospheric pressure on Mars is significantly lower than on Earth, which can lead to dangerous consequences such as body fluids boiling without proper pressurization. Mars is known for its frigid temperatures, which can reach as low as minus 285 degrees Fahrenheit due to its thin atmosphere. Unfortunately, studies reveal that the planet lacks the necessary elements to support human life. As a result, astronauts must bring their own life support systems when exploring the planet. In addition, radiation levels in space pose a significant obstacle to human exploration on Mars. Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere shield us from harmful radiation from the sun and other cosmic sources. Despite these challenges, big names in the space tech industry, such as Elon Musk, are determined to overcome these obstacles and find new ways to survive on the red planet. One potential solution that has gained popularity is the use of inflatable habitats. Living in a balloon-like habitat has unique advantages compared to other options such as underground structures or 3D printed rock-based structures. Inflatable habitats have been in development for three decades and are gaining prominence in human spaceflight plans. While 3D printing on Mars is a popular concept, it presents challenges such as the difficulty of landing robots on Mars, generating sufficient power, and the uncertainty surrounding the composition of the Martian regolith. On the other hand, inflatable habitats offer several benefits that make them an appealing choice. They can be prefabricated on Earth, making the construction process more manageable. Once completed, they can be easily transported to Mars, ready for deployment. 
Inflatable habitats also have the remarkable ability to self-inflate, simplifying the process of setting up a living space for humans. Additionally, these habitats can deploy solar panels for power generation, further enhancing their self-sufficiency. When it comes to inflatable space habitats, Bigelow Aerospace has been at the forefront of innovation. They successfully demonstrated the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module, BEAM, on the International Space Station, ISS, proving the feasibility of such structures. Building on this success, Sierra Nevada Corporation's Sierra Space is continuing to develop inflatable habitats with its Life Habitat Module. This module is designed for integration into the future Orbital Reef Space Station, showcasing the commitment to advancing this technology. One of the most intriguing aspects of inflatable habitats is their versatility. They can function as standalone space stations or be linked together to form larger structures. This flexibility allows for modular expansion, accommodating the evolving needs of a growing Martian colony. The outer shell of these habitats is made of multiple layers of a remarkably tough material called Vectrin, which exhibits strength surpassing that of steel when pressurized. To ensure their strength and durability, inflatable habitats undergo rigorous testing, including assessments for overpressure and ballistic impacts. Additionally, they offer an added safety feature by preventing explosive decompression in case of a puncture. Any leaks can be addressed gradually, enhancing the long-term viability and resilience of these habitats in the challenging Martian environment. Radiation shielding is a critical consideration for Martian colonization, and inflatable habitats provide effective protection against it. They use materials such as woven polypropylene matrix or hydrogen-rich foams to safeguard the health and well-being of the inhabitants and mitigate the risks associated with prolonged exposure to cosmic radiation. How would you do that? Uh, you'd, you'd warm it up. Just warm it up. If you with warm, a blanket it, or with what? <laughs> how would you, how well, you warm Mars up? You know, this, it's, it's this a the long fast way, way from the sun. It's the fast way uh, and the slow way. Okay. Uh, give, me, <laughs> give, me the, give me the fast way. The fast way is, is drop thermonuclear weapons over the poles. You're a super villain. <laughs> That's what a super villain does. Yeah. Inflatable habitats can also be customized to accommodate different gravitational conditions. They can be designed for zero gravity or equipped with the capability to provide artificial gravity by rotating the habitat. This can potentially offer numerous health benefits to the residents. Integrated with ground-based infrastructure on Mars, the life module serves as a vital waypoint between Earth and the Red Planet. This connection allows for efficient transportation of supplies, resources, and personnel, fostering the establishment of a robust interplanetary infrastructure. Sierra Space is exploring the potential of larger inflatable modules for future rockets such as SpaceX's Starship. By using advanced rockets, they plan to double the available space and create habitats with over 2,000 cubic meters of volume. These large habitats will provide a more comfortable living environment for long-term human presence on Mars. Both ground-based and orbital inflatable habitats offer an exciting vision for the future of Martian colonization. With their durability, radiation shielding, and ability to adapt to different gravitational conditions, these habitats provide a safe and comfortable infrastructure on Mars. This infrastructure will serve as the foundation for humanity to explore and venture further into the cosmos. To kickstart the colonization effort, semi-autonomous robots will excavate a crater on Mars where the future colony will take shape. This is an essential first step in laying the groundwork for what's to come. The process begins with loading inflatable habitat pods onto rockets, which are then launched toward Mars. Using parachutes and airbags, these pods make a careful descent onto the dusty surface of the red planet. This intricate dance in the sky ensures the safe delivery of these vital components. Upon landing, the pods quickly inflate and connect to each other using airlocks. The modules then begin to take shape, forming the foundation of a future colony. It's an awe-inspiring sight as these structures emerge from the barren Martian landscape, providing hope for future inhabitants. However, building a protective exterior for these habitats is a challenge. This is where small robots come in, tirelessly working to fuse regolith, the loose rocks and soil found on Mars, into concrete. This innovative use of materials acts as the building material for the habitat shell. 
It's a testament to human resourcefulness, utilizing the resources available on Mars to create a safe haven for colonizers. The Mars base is almost complete, with an outer shell made of regolith acting as a protective covering. This will provide shelter for the colonizers, shielding them from the harsh Martian environment. However, the colonizers won't be alone in their new home. Alongside the astronauts, there will be dozens of robots and automated vehicles that will also call this Martian colony their own. These mechanical companions will play a vital role in supporting the colonizers by assisting with maintenance, exploration, and scientific research. This partnership between humans and machines will work together to unlock the mysteries of our neighboring planet. SpaceX is laying the foundation for a sustainable and viable presence on the Red Planet. This journey will require patience, innovation, and a steadfast commitment to exploring new frontiers in the realm of space travel. It appears that, very soon, humanity will enter a new era of exploration, pushing the boundaries of our understanding and venturing ever further into the cosmos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.